there Aquarius, I'm Annette McKinley and this is Intuitive Astrology and Tarot by Annette and I'm here to do your love reading from now until August 31st, 2018. This is for Aquarius Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus and Cusp. You may or may not resonate. Um, if you would like a personal private reading, the information um, to my website where you can book and pay for your reading is in the description box down below. Um, I look forward to the honor and privilege of uh, working with you personally. Um, remember the energy can flow either way. Um, the future is never promised to us. And um, we all have free will. So we're going to pull one oracle message from the fortune deck. We'll be using the um, Chinese holographic tarot as the main deck with the steampunk tarot used as the clarifying deck and then bring in some oracle messages at the end from the vintage wisdom oracle so let's see what the um, overall energy is for you aquarius in love from now until august 31st 2018 this is aquarius sun moon rising venus and cuss The Sphinx. Choose your words carefully. I think Sagittarius got this one too as their oracle message. So it's about um, thinking before you speak, being tactful, mindful that you don't hurt someone's feelings or someone's having trouble finding the right words to say or their throat chakra might be blocked off. But we'll see. Let's see what other messages are here in the ethers for you Aquarius spirit what can you show me in love for Aquarius between now and August 31st 2018 please comment like subscribe 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 and share thank you for all of your positive comments and feedback I could not live my dream without your your love and support so thank you very much Aquarius Okay, the underlying energy at the bottom of the deck, we've got the Hermit. You might be dealing with a Virgo, but this is about going within and doing some soul searching to gain some inner wisdom. And um, this is also getting esoteric and spiritual enlightenment and knowledge, but going within. Underneath that, we've got Temperance, which is Sagittarius energy, but this is um, Archangel Michael healing, bringing things together. <clears throat> Divine alchemy, th things being brought together on the other side for you. So very spiritual energy. You're being divinely guided and trusting your inner wisdom. You could also be dealing with a, with a Sagittarius or a, or a Virgo. So let's see what else is here. Ten of Wands. The Magician. Two of Swords, Nine of Swords, King of Wands. Okay, so I feel like a lot of you have been up in your head. This has been a huge burden for you. You have, you have to make a decision. I've been trying to manifest something, which is, you know, very with this temperance underneath the hermit at the bottom of the deck. The, this is being worked on from behind the scenes in the spirit realm, but this is also having all the tools at your disposal to take action and manifest and call into your life what it is you truly want with help from the universe. So this is as above, so below. So you're bringing in from the universe into reality here on earth, but you're also getting some help on the other side with divine alchemy. So this is divine alchemy and personal power, intention, and will. Working strongly hand in hand with, with the universe. Working strongly with the law of attraction. Some of you are very powerful manifestors. 
So know that uh, you're you're calling in some. I just saw the wheel of the wheel of fortune was underneath the temperance card in the bottom of the deck. So you this this is something big that is going to be happening if it's not already happened. That. Um, the universe is bringing to you. You've completed a karmic cycle and this is fate coming in. And you're ready to put this burden down. Someone's had too much going on, too, much, too many irons in the fire. You could have been dealing with an Aries Leo Sagittarius, but stressed out, overwhelmed, anxious. But this is coming to an end. Something better is, is manifesting for you now, Aquarius. But you need to stop worrying and get out of your head. And this is being stuck. This is being at a stalemate. You need to take the blindfold off and see things for what they are. And get your, you know, stop procrastinating. It's time to move out of this energy now and move forward. You have every tool at your disposal to get yourself out of this. And you're going to take action, take charge. You're going to take, take on this King of Wands energy. Fiery, passionate, created, action-oriented, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. You might be moving forward and going after what it is and who you really want, but you're going to have to, again, choose your words carefully. And again, this energy could be reversed. It could be the other person's energy. So just keep that in mind. But this is someone who's very fiery, passionate, action-oriented, and along with this Aries magician type of energy someone's going to go for it after taking some time to go within and get some spiritual enlightenment so let's validate these with the steampunk tarot why is the sphinx here what is this choose your words carefully all about for aquarius some of you could also be dealing with a leo this reminds me of like a, a, a lion type of energy. Reminds me of a lion. We are in Leo season right now. Spirit, please validate the Sphinx for Aquarius. The Sphinx is clarified by the Page of Swords. You need to get more information. I feel like maybe there's some gossip. Gossip and um, backstabbing and mature communication. You need to be careful what you say. And also, you know, be careful about what you're believing and hearing because it might not be true. It just might be idle gossip and chit chat. Someone's talking smack behind someone's back. So be careful of that. Why is the magician here? The moon. Something, some, somebody might be keeping something from you or keeping secrets. This is also trusting your intuition and knowing that you can manifest something. And if you do try to manifest and work with the law of attraction, it's best to set your intentions during between a new moon and a full moon when the moon's power is growing when it's waxing but uh, you're going to be able to call in this uh, energy why is the moon here we got temperance again healing you're working with the divine there's stuff going on behind the scenes in the spirit realm that you're not aware of this is magic at work, divine alchemy, as well as your own alchemy. Some of you might work in, in the magical arts. Some of you might be um, psychics, intuitives. But this is, uh, you need to balance everything out when you're, when you're manifesting. But something's, something big is happening. Why is temperance here? Lots of major stuff going on which is so Aquarian. It's, this is all very right up Aquarius's uh, alley, all of this esoteric, mysterious stuff. But Aquarius actually takes action. Um, they take those 
big spiritual ideas and they actually cause people to question everything. They take a step back and look at it, um, keep it to themselves, but they demand truth and they, they will take action on it. And of course they're going to take action. This is Ace of Pentacles, a gift from the divine, something solid, stable, grounded. This could be a new relationship uh, trying to manifest for you. An offer. It's something that's going to lead to growth. It's that seed you've planted that is going to grow. So if you're trying to manifest something, you've planted that seed with the universe, now you're waiting for things to start manifesting. It's that manifestation into this, to the earthly realm of what you're hoping for, but you need to let it go. After you set your intentions and, and work your magic, you need to let that go and let the divine take over, okay? Let go of that control. So, hope this makes sense. So let's get three messages from the Vintage Wisdom Oracle for you, Aquarius. Again, personal readings might be better so we can focus on your situation and your energy. It's always my honor and privilege to help people who need my help. Okay, got a lot jumping out here. Okay, so we have choice. So you, you have several ways, several directions you can go. You're going to need to choose wisely. Um, and also, again, choose your words carefully when you're setting your intentions. But you're going to do it with a lot of love and passion. And you'll be divinely guided. Compassion. If someone's gossiping about you or backstabbing, show compassion towards them. Um, and also be gentle on yourself. Try to be more understanding. Choose compassionate words. Trust. Trust that your intentions and prayers are being heard by, by the divine, by the universe, whatever you believe in. And you need to trust and know that people will usually do the right thing. They will make good choices. Trust yourself. Trust your own intuition as well. And others are trusting you, Aquarius. Very beautiful reading. Um, until next time, um, be the love, be the light. And thank you so much for watching. Take care. Bye-bye.